Hey everyone, it's me, Storm Bunny, and today, since as far as we know, this is the end of Attack on Titan, I thought it'd be fun to do a talking video about my Attack on Titan OC, Bonnie Storm. I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get started. So Bonnie is my Arturian Attack Titan. I didn't want to make an OC that was either Malayan or Eldian, so I didn't have to box her in with either quote-unquote race. So making her her own race, I can have free reign to do with her as I want along with her Titan. I'll give a brief overview of the, her race. So Arturians pass down healing power between their families. The 13 year curse does not affect them due to experimentation, also changing their colouring with them being blue instead of the normal colour. Each of the Arturian 9 relates to an animal of the Chinese zodiac. Each year the successor will be injected with a dulled down titan serum to help them gain full control of their titan almost instantaneously. They also have two long scars on their back which looks like wings have been ripped off. If you enjoy hearing the shortened version of her story, her full length story will be in the description. Let's start the story off with Bonnie and her nan. Bonnie's nan is the previous owner of the attack titan, and because the curse doesn't affect Bonnie's nan, she's had the titan from the ages of 18 through to 70, and this is where Bertel kicks the wall in. Bonnie and the main three are like family in the beginning, especially with Armin. Once our main four see the colossal titan over the wall, Bonnie heads straight home to tell her nan what's happened. Her nan tells her that today is the day Bonnie will become the new shifter, as she is too old to continue with the power. So Bonnie, once Bonnie gains the power, she heads straight to the boat with the rest of them. She enlists in the cadet call with the others, and this is where she meets her love interest. My favourite boy, Reiner. She gets into a scuffle with Jean. You'll have to read her story if you want to know what happens there. And Reiner is the only one that helps her, and helps hide her power by bandaging her up. You'll see a speed paint of this in here. Uh, she tells the other shifters, Annie and Bertolt, who she is, and she is not a threat to them. And after getting into the top 10, she is second. During the Battle of Trost, where Eren first transforms, this, she helps him and saves John in the process. When Eren gets cornered, she feels the urge to scream, which make, she does and makes the Titans explode. Thinks Zeke scream, but the reverse, without the need for royal blood. She helps Eren with the boulder, and instead of knocking him out, ori him, knocking himself out originally, Bonnie's the one that does it instead because he attacked Mixer. She protects Eren in the courtroom, but Levi still beats him up. I couldn't get rid of that but part. She ends up with the Levi squad and becomes close to Petra, especially after Orla berates her about being a demon and Eren never defending her about it. She goes on the mission where they meet the female Titan. After, and after Bonnie's killing Titan scream is heard about by Erwin, he asks her to scream when Annie gets caught in the wires and pulls all the Titans towards her. Because of this scream, a scar slowly gets bigger on Bonnie's throat. When Bonnie first screams, she realises that her scream does not kill shifters. Annie gets away and still kills the Levi squad. After she finds out what happens, she goes back into her room and melts down. After her outburst to everyone who is panicking about where she has been, her and Aaron get into a yelling match about trust. This is where the animosity between the two really get kickstarted. After a huge argument between Aaron and Bonnie, they discuss the plans to capture Aaron, which Bonnie refuses and heads to the bunker and later the castle with the others. Bonnie joins Yumi in the fight at Udgard Castle, which shows something between different between the original shifters and the Arturians. During the fight, Bonnie loses all her limbs but her left leg. And once she wakes up in the trees with Berta and Reiner, she sees her scars. Arturians scar when they regenerate parts of their body. After the chat on the wall with Zeke, she ends up hiding in a hole as Berta has told everyone she was dead. She returns to Marley with the other warriors after losing Bertolt, and she gets introduced to Porco. Not long after he's eaten Yumia. They both have a training fight so the Malayan military can see them both at work. Bonnie beats him, but they both have fun during their fight, a friendship sparking instantaneously between the two. If you've been on my channel, even since Thursday, you'll have seen in a lot of speed paints that Bonnie has short grey hair, while in the speed paints during this, she has long blonde hair. Well, when Arturians turn 18, their hair matches the same colour as their Titan. And she says at the beginning of the story about cutting her hair to Reiner, but he says she shouldn't because he loves her hair. But after training in, at Marley for a year, she lets Porco cut her hair on her 18th. I picked him instead of Peak because he clearly cares a lot about his hair and I feel like he would love to chop it all off. So this is currently as far as I've gotten story-wise, but I've got some other ideas on how I will continue this, but I'll keep them under wraps until I write them up. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you'd like me to do more of my other OCs just like this. Thank you for watching, bye! me
This is the moment, no turning back. One drop on your lips, and the spell will take effect. Under the 